click the like button for YouTube algorithm. Get your free stocks, links in the description. Support the channel by checking my Amazon affiliate link in the description, thanks. Starbucks Bulls say Starbucks is adapting to evolving consumer behaviors through a brand that transcends channels as well as digital flywheel, including mobile order and pay, social media, delivery partnerships, and loyalty program enhancements. Beverage slash food innovations and upscale store redesigns can elevate the Starbucks customer experience, unlock new day parts, and bolster unit level productivity metrics. Despite its ambitious growth aspirations, we believe Starbucks can eventually reach a 50% to 60% dividend payout ratio over the next decade, implying low to mid teens average annual dividend growth. Bears say, with non-existent switching costs, there is little to prevent consumers from switching to third-wave rivals or competitors like Dunkin' Brands, Tim Hortons, or McDonald's. Jab's coffee assets could become a more significant rival over time. Divana, Princhy, and Evolution Fresh may not evolve into successful complementary brands and may divert attention away from Starbucks' core brand. Coronavirus-related restaurant closures will have a severe impact on Starbucks' near-term fundamentals and could lead to changes in consumer behavior over a longer horizon. Analyst Ratings Buy, 41% Hold, 59% Sell, 0% Market Cap, 90.96 billion Average Volume, 13.59 million Dividend Yield, 2.11% Duncan Brands Bulls say, We identify several potential sales catalysts ahead, including espresso beverages, menu simplification, limited time value bundles, on the go ordering, next generation drive through locations, and an expanded selection of afternoon day part and in store CPG products. Cash on cash returns for Western US Duncan units often exceed 20%, attracting quality franchisee partners. Duncan can grow across the Southeast. Midwest, and Western U.S. due to its brand awareness, strong franchisee returns, and industry fragmentation, independent coffee chains compose about 50% of all U.S. units. Bears say, Bankruptcies among QSR franchisees could escalate following the coronavirus situation because of pressured franchisee economics or over-leveraged situations following recent refranchising activity. The Baskin Robbins Japan and Dunkin Donuts Korea joint ventures may necessitate more significant turnaround efforts. The global QSR industry is competitive, with a well-documented history of price wars. The emergence of new specialty coffee concepts could make it more difficult for Dunkin, to stand out among higher income consumers. Analyst Ratings Buy, 30% Hold, 70% Sell, 0% Market Cap 5.42 billion average volume 1.54 million dividend yield 2.44 percent as always be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments be sure to smash that like button thank you so much for tuning in and i will catch you in the next video